Before the COVID-19 pandemic, elevators were crowded as people rode together to get to their floors faster. Elevators would simply fill up to maximum capacity in the lobby floor during rush hours in order to get people to their floors quickly. But more recently, to allow for social distancing, capacities have been cut significantly. If buildings reopen fully, queues will blow up during rush hour, which can be unsafe and lead to more disease outbreak. Fortunately, a team of researchers at Columbia University have discovered two simple interventions that can be used to reduce queue lengths. The interventions do not require programming the elevators and rely only on guiding passengers. The first is cohorting. Anyone in the queue that is going to the same floor as the first passenger can form a cohort and ride together. After this cohort boards the elevator, repeat until the elevator is full or the queue is empty. The second is queue splitting. In the lobby, create mini queues for separate groups of floors. Arriving passengers join a queue corresponding to their floor group, and the queues are processed in a round-robin fashion. When an elevator arrives, the current queue sends enough passengers to fill it up or empty the queue. The researchers conducted simulations based on a real 25-story building during the morning rush hour. They compared the traditional way of loading elevators, known as first come first serve, with the two interventions. Using the traditional approach, the queue length in the lobby keeps growing and growing. However, the cohorting and queue splitting interventions make the elevators more efficient and can keep the queue lengths at a manageable and safe level. Please see the research paper or contact the team for more information.